you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the Madden NFL 21 X Factor Superstars Abilities Deep Dive. Now, if you guys didn't know, prior to this coming out, we did have the individual X Factors drop piece by piece. We went over each one. I did miss the last few days, guys. I was on vacation. You know, we're at a point where it's, like, this is my last probably little bit of free time before Madden 21 comes out. Like, I got my birthday coming up, guys. I got school starting again. College, of course. And I have the Madden grind full-time for the most part, for the way I, at least the way I treat it. So, this is, like, my last little time of free time. So, I took a nice little vacation. I'm back now, though, guys. Should be done for the year vacation-wise, I think. Hopefully. I'm kind of done with that at this point. But, guys, before we get into today's video, as you guys saw by the title, there is going to be a mutt info madden ultimate team info date that is august 18th now do i expect all the news to come out the 18th no i believe there'll be like some level of mutt leaks or marksman leaks or any kind of leaks on twitter coming up before then because that's usually how that works because guys by the time august 18th around like the game's pretty much out at that point on ea access so very late date i do hope we get some stuff earlier than that but guys i want to get through all this so let's head into this guys drop a sub comment down below so team for madden 21 and yes i know this came out yesterday but you were in here, so I do want to make up for that video for all you guys who specifically specifically watch me. But let's head on down. So, moving on down, additions. It was inevitable that we would want to add new abilities for Madden 21, and in doing so, we decided to focus our efforts on enhancing new mechanics and features throughout core Madden gameplay. Moving on down, pass rush. We completely reworked the user defense line play this with a brand new system. And as a result of that, this area accounts for the large collection of new abilities. The abilities in this space revolve around improving your effectiveness with specific moves. Granting you more opportunities to perform pass rush moves and even going as far as rattling the entire offensive line ahead of an aggressive blitz. So these are the new ones we got. Let's see right here. So for Aaron Donald, has an ability called El Toro. It's a star ability. Defenders with this ability will receive dominant bull rush wins when their pass rush points are full. And don't exactly know how the whole pass rush points are going to play out to effect in a real game, but apparently when they're full, they're going to be dominant. So is it going to be effective? Yes. He's got the blitz superstar X Factor. Now, let's see, blocking. We can't give these defense a ton of new rushing abilities without having ways for the boys on the old line to fight back. Offensive line, we'll see a host of new abilities designed to hold up against Tyler Salt. Let's see, so Zach Martin has the post-up ability. Okay, so the post-up ability is pretty cool in terms of how your blocking scheme can be. So when he has po when, since he has post-up, pretty much, that will be very good for sliding or um, double-teaming or, in general, just aggressively pass-blocking. Because if, let's say, you uh, max protect 6 or 7, well, let's go with like let's go with six, yeah, six or seven. That means that someone's gonna end up in a double team just because of how many blockers you have. So more than likely, if you have Zach Martin sl uh, sliding over in a double team to the dominant left end, that'd be very good for canceling out an entire player. So it is pretty cool. I do like that that is an option there. So that's a pretty cool ability. Screen protector blockers with ability will dominantly win impact blocks on screen plays. Now that's pretty cool because screens have really sucked the last few years in my opinion. So I really like that they added that. Next we got Rodney Hudson. He's got the Matador. Blockers with this ability will have stronger protection against dominant bull rush moves attempted by defenders. It's important. Stamina fatigue. Let's see what we got. I'm not going to read all of them. It's pretty simple what they're doing here. So the bench press ability. Well, let's go over this X factor first. So Jalen Ramsey has bottleneck. Bottleneck defenders realize that the best way to stop Browse to act early when they enter the zone. They're highly likely to dominant win, dominantly win at any man press encounter, which is cool because I do like to man press. He's got Bench Press, which is a new one. Defenders with this ability will apply a bonus fatigue to their man coverage target after a successful press win. That's pretty cool. So that's kind of like, in, if you guys play 2K, like a bruiser level ability. Like one of those are like, where like if you bump the guy and you have that ability, they lose a lot of stamina, which kind of hurts their shot, hurts their ability to run. Just throws off the whole play. So a guy like Ramsey tires you out at the line, which is good because what I hated in this Madden is that he would he would kill you at the line. You couldn't even get off him. But once you did, he burnt you. And it was, it was over, especially if you like a bazooka or anything like that. Energizer, ball carriers with ability will replenish a portion of their stamina successfully performing any move. I like that because honestly, it was kind of annoying when you get a juke and you break loose and your stamina was just so dead at that point, you're losing your speed. Uh, let's see. New X Factor is relentless. The most tenacious defenders beat their blocks by sheer force of will. When they enter the zone, their rush move attempts are free. El Toro, which went over ready in Swim Club. Defenders with this ability will ignore one bar of blocker resistance when attempting Swim Club pass rush moves. That's pretty cool, so we'll make them a little more dominant and faster off the break. Bob Wagner has Enforcer. He's got Avalanche. Avalanche is a super cool new ability, guys. Pretty much, if you're running, facing the off the line of scrimmage, like you're running downhill, and you hit someone vertical to the line of scrimmage like that or horizontal to it, you're going to automatically force a fumble if it's a hit stick. 
So that's going to be super OP, especially if you have like Bobby Wagner, Jamal Adams. Like if you have all the Avalanche guys playing on one side of the field, it's going to be very terrifying to run on people. Uh, he's got Enforcer, which has always been cool. And then Out of My Way. So Out of My Way, we've had this already. That's not a new one. It was more Avalanche. Derwin James has Lumberjack, Unfakeable, and Reinforcement. Reinforcement is just uh, when they enter the zone, they increases the chance to defeat run blocks and uh, disrupting catches via tackles. So they're pretty much just all around and a great player. Like They can do everything. They run, their pass coverage, just everything there. Now we got Unfakeable and Lumberjack. So moving on down, we got Rebalances, Route Running. It seems that they're trying to balance out some abilities or change them a little bit. So so let's see. The other issue with these abilities is that they were difficult to use. So, okay, so it's kind of just abilities I guess they change up a little bit. So Jukebox will have steerable juke animations. I don't know exactly what that means. Short out elite with this ability. Catch more consistently while running, running while catching passes less than 10 yards from line of scrimmage outside the numbers. So I guess what they did was they also rewarded some of them so that people can really understand what they did as well as change like the parameters of them. Grab and go after securing a rack catch. Ball carriage with abilities can quickly shift momentum, change direction, turn the corner without sacrificing speed. Okay. Mid out elite. Receivers with ability can catch more consistently or running pass between the 10 and 20 yards. See, I don't know if I liked that. I think I liked when out elite just was every kind of out in the game. Just because like now you have to worry about like certain outs. But I mean I guess you know what you run, right? You don't like you're not gonna be changing up your plays mid-game, so you kinda know more or less what you need. Route technician, receivers with this ability have a higher success rate on creating separation on the last cut of any route. Um deep out elite, okay. Let's see. DeAndre Hopkins, red zone threat. Better chance to win contested catch against civil coverage. That changed short in elite, so that's below 10. Mid in elite, that's between 10 and 20. Michael Thomas says route technician. We read that one. Wide receiver apprentice, you have the additional four hot routes. And max security. Um, a shorthanded receiver is a quarterback's best throw. When they enter the zone, this ability increases their success rate on possession catch. So pretty much if you press A, you're probably catching it. Defensive coverage, so they fixed a few here. So we got pick artist, higher chance catch, uncontested interceptions, unlimited stamina. Acrobat will dive for increased range on pass breakups, interceptions, and deep out zone KO. They will react quicker in deep zone covers, 20 plus yards. Okay, so they're really good. They're going to be really fire at like probably deep crossers or deep post and uh, stuff like that. Stephon Gilmore. I'm going to go over like some of the newer ones. One step ahead, defenders' this ability will generally act much faster. Receiver cup moves when in man coverage. Flat zone KO. They'll be they'll, they'll be lights out in the flats. All right, that's cool. I like one step ahead, though. That's a really good one, especially because throw people. Chuck out will apply bonus seats to the target after successful zone. Chuck out when you push them out of the zone. That's pretty cool. And then again, flat zone, deep zone. So these are really, that's a really good set of abilities for Sherman. Acrobat, we went over. Short route, deep shot. Okay, same thing. Pass leading. Okay, we got some quarterback ones here. Guys, right, so I'm not going to go through all these. Stuff. This will take literally forever. So I'm going to go down here, just kind of read down the new ones. Like we see the we see the guys we got now. Removals. They got rid of guru abilities like zone, uh, zone and inside zone. Let's see, whenever this pivot room, these three work, these abilities no longer made sense. Need to be removed at some point. Okay, so they removed that. New X Factor abilities Ankle Breaker, Avalanche, Blitz, Bottleneck, Grab and Smash. That's a pretty good one. Relentless, Universe Coverage, Vanguard. Feel free to pause the video if you guys want to read these. Yak them up. I more or less have talked about these in the last few videos. New Superstar abilities Adrenaline Rush players, Pass Rush with this ability will have all their Pass Rush moves removed. Bogo, granted a free Pass Rush, Balance Beam, Avoid Stumbling and Carrying the Ball. That is a really good ability. Trust me, Barry Sanders, something like that. Never stumble in like Madden 19, and he was unbelievable. Bench press, I run over that, chuck out, went over that closer. Can easily enter zone the second half, come back, deep out zone. Okay, let's see, let's see. Defensive rally, bonus pass rush points, double or nothing. Okay, El Toro, Energizer, extra credit. Jeez, there's a lot here. Again, feel free to pause to read all these. I just wanted to kind of get this out to you guys. The link you can see on the top of the, the, the URL, if not, let me know. I will link it to you. Again, this video could take literally 30 minutes. I went over everything. I kind of just want to more or less cover all the new stuff. I'll go over this slowly. Feel free to pause. Speedster. We'll ignore one block. Okay, a lot of these are all pass rush related. This, this is going to be very difficult to pick the ones you want. I really don't know how I'm going to end up going about this. All right, so next. Next Grenard notes will be August 18th, and that will focus on Madden Ultimate Team for Madden NFL 21. So pretty much, guys, again, if you want to see any of that, just go back and pause it. I, I read all those. It'll take forever, and more, more than less, you probably can read faster than I can speak it. Uh, so August 18th will be Madden Ultimate Team. Hopefully we get leaks before then. Guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on your boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And guys, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully we get some more stuff between then because obviously we still have a nice like 18, you know, like 17 days worth of videos I need to make. So hopefully more stuff comes out. But I'm out. Peace. <laughs>